Yo, what is up guys? It is Dumb Nasty, and today I'm just gonna make a quick little user guide for start.gg. I host a lot of tournaments. I do a weekly smash tournament, two weekly smash tournaments, and a monthly smash tournament. And every single event that I host, I have people asking me questions about how to navigate the website, how to check in for their match, etc, etc. Um, so I'm just gonna try to make a short little video so that whenever somebody asks me that question, I can just show them this video and I don't have to go through it again and again like I do every single week, multiple times a week. Um, so let's start out with how to find a tournament in the first place. Normally, I would recommend finding tournaments off of Smash.gg. There's a lot of uh, Discord servers, especially if you're looking for Smash tournaments specifically, um, that have whole sections dedicated to posting tournaments there for you to find and sign up for. Um, but if you want to use Smash.gg, they do have a search feature. Um, I think the best way is to scroll down to upcoming tournaments and go to see all and then you can filter it from here you can pick what game you want so let's go Super Smash Bros Ultimate um, you can pick a date and then there's a bunch of other filters like offline or off online free or paid how many attendees does it have if it's 1v1 or teams uh, and basically you can customize this to find whatever type of tournament you're looking for the first thing that comes up without any filters is Riptide obviously that's a big offline major if you're looking for a Wi-Fi tournament let's go online uh, registration status closing soon so we can find like a tournament that's coming up uh, competitor no tournaments found with hello Wait, okay maybe let's get rid of that one uh, 1v1's done. Magical Outlaws. Why does this have 2,000 people? I don't know. Anyways, that's not important. Let's go to this tournament real quick. And, uh, I'll give you guys an example of now how you found your tournament, right? You found the tournament you're looking for. Now you want to sign up. You want to register. So, up in the left corner, there's gonna be a join now or register. Um, okay. So, and then, it's like, so depending on the event, this page will look different. Um, you can enter like your prefix, whatever tag you want to have, customize all that, and then some uh, some tournaments have multiple events, right? They'll have like a singles tourney and a doubles tourney. It looks like this tournament uses the same page every week, so you have to, like this would be for weekly number one, which already happened, but this one's weekly 28, that's the one we want. Uh, you have to join their Discord server, so you'd have to like link your Discord to smash.gg. Um, which if I click disconnect just to show you guys how you just click the connect button It'll pop up in another window right here authorize There you go now join the server It'll it's gonna open up in my discord. I click join mage and bandit squad Now refresh check the status Look at that you've joined we got all the requirements. We need we got first and last name um, oh, and down here they do, these are not required, but some tournaments do require you to follow a Twitch channel or a Twitter account. Since these aren't required, we're just going to skip past that right now. Click continue. Uh, check the boxes. You're not a robot. Complete registration. And there you go. You are signed up for your first Smash tournament. You've gotten past the registration. Now is the real tricky part, though. And since this tournament hasn't started yet, I can't show you a perfect example. But I think I can explain it well enough for you to get the gist. So once the tournament does start, like here, let's refresh because it's still saying I'm not registered because it does that sometimes. So if it says you're not registered after registering, refresh the page. You know, check tasks. Match is coming up. View matches. So once the tournament actually starts, this will say match is coming up check in for match and instead of view matches you click check in and it will take you to a window that looks like this wait not this this is the bracket it'll take you to a window that looks like this and in this window you'll have tasks tasks is a very important section for you to access this is where you're going to check in for your match, which you have to check in for every single match in the bracket. This is where you're going to check in. This is, and then after you check in, it'll ask you to set up an arena for you and your opponent to both join. Or it'll ask your opponent to set up an arena and then you join it. 
that's when you go over to the chat tab and it instead of saying chat not yet available you'll be able to chat with your opponent um you guys share the arena details you both hop in an arena together you go back over to tasks you select uh what stages you don't want to play on you go through your picks and your bands you select what character you're going to play it walks you through all of that very self-explanatory as long as you can find this tasks window i think you'll be able to figure it all out at the end of the game you go back to tasks you report who won and who lost your opponent confirms it and then you go through picks and bands for stages and your character again and then at the end of the set you confirm who won or lost again you move on to the next round if you won. If you lost, you're gonna go down here into loser's bracket. So you can see I'm in match B. So where is it? The right here it says loser of B. So that's where I would end up if I lost my first round. So then I would go down here, click on the bracket again, rinse and repeat, go through all of my tasks, finish that all up. <laughs> I think that's about everything you need to know for participating in a tournament on Smash.gg. Um, now we can get into real quickly hosting tournaments if you guys are interested in that you go to the home page you click organize an event I'm just gonna go through the very basics of this I'm not gonna get too deep into how to TO a tournament um, click create a tournament you name your tournament uh, I'm just gonna do example tourney uh, change your primary contact type for how you want people who join your tournament to be able to get a hold of you because that's important so I'm just gonna throw a link from my discord in here or an invite to my discord I should say bam bam um, and then you want to put what day is your tournament happening pretty self-explanatory once again let's just say today at 6 p.m. And approximately when it's gonna end this does not have to be exact because nobody knows exactly how long a tournament's gonna run I usually just put about two hours um, And then if you've done a tournament before this is where the rest is easy You just click copy tournament settings pick whatever tournament you want to copy from and Everything just pastes itself right into your new tournament But if it's your first time hosting a tournament you gotta click create tournament And then you have to set up your registration, um, your, your bracket timers, and all of that good stuff. But I think I will save that in-depth tutorial for another day. The, the main purpose of this video was just to teach people how to use it if they want to uh, play in tournaments, not to host it. But comment down below if you want me to make a full tutorial on how to TO tournaments. I do that pretty much for a living. It's like a big source of my income, so I have a lot of experience, and I could definitely teach you guys a thing or two. But uh, for now, thanks for watching this short little video, and I hope you're all having a great day. Peace out.